Hi, and welcome to this preview of the new IDEVIO maps for ClickSense. I'm going to show a little bit here how you can build uh, your app with IDEVIO maps and also show some examples. Uh, the first thing you see in edit mode when you have installed IDEVIO maps is that you get some new charts here. It's not just one map chart, but several uh, charts, but I'll come back to that later. To start building, uh, uh, start using a map, just to drag it into the sheet, and you immediately get this uh, map presentation. But that you can zoom and, and pan. Uh, the particular thing here with IDW maps is that you don't actually add your dimensions and measures to this uh, this chart. You add it to the layer charts, which are separate charts, uh, and take up some separate space on your sheet here. Uh, there are several different kinds of, of layers that displays the data in, in different ways. And uh, the reason for separating the layers and the map in, in, in uh, different charts is kind of the basic principle for maps, which is to display uh, data in, in layers on, on, uh, on a map so that you uh, automatically sees their geographic relations when you, when you look at it. So now we have added a bubble layer, uh, and now we should add some data to it. Let's first start with identities as dimension, and in this data we have coordinates, so let's add them as measures. Latitude and longitude. There. And we then get this kind of presentations, which is the default presentation uh, of a bubble layer, uh, red dots. Uh, but let's make it a bit more interesting by controlling uh, the size of the bubbles, with, uh, in this case the population. So it's a measure here. Uh, now we have changed it to, to different sizes of, of the bubbles. We can uh, control the sizes uh, with uh, the different parameters here to the right, if you wish. We'll stay with the default. And let's add another uh, another measure here uh, that controls the color. And you get this kind of presentation with different bubbles representing crime statistics here. Uh, with different uh, colors and sizes. You also see now that this layer component acts as a legend to the data in this layer. To the left, the sizes and which minimum and maximum value they correspond to, and to the right, the color ramp and their corresponding minimum and maximum value for that measure. So we now have a presentation with a single layer, uh, but let's continue to add another layer. And this time we'll use an area layer. We'll drop in that there, the same way. And we're gonna uh, show the countries. Let's drop in the country code, as I mentioned. And then we immediately get a visualization of the countries. Uh, what just happened is that the country code was looked up in IDEVIO's location service, which contains lots of data for, for various kinds of, of uh, points and areas. Uh, we could have used that uh, for the bubble layer as well, but we actually had coordinates in the data, so we didn't need that. But the location service is a very neat way uh, to, to Easily add geographic information or geographic uh, presentation to, to your to your data, since you often don't have coordinates, but you have some data that is geographically related. Uh, the name can be looked up in, in the location service, and things that are available are uh, countries, states, cities, uh, post codes, uh, airport codes, and things like that. Uh, so let's. Uh, change the colors of the areas. Uh, 
the same way as for for the uh, for the bubble layer. Uh, we actually use aggregated values here for for the same measure. And we get a, a presentation like this with different colors for different countries. Uh, let's fine tune this. Uh, let's fine tune the colors. We have default visualization of the color, but we can choose here diverging glasses. We can add some transparency and and uh, adjust it until we it looks looks nice for us. And when we have this presentation, we also see to the right here that when we have chosen uh, classified coloring, we get a nicer or more descriptive uh, presentation or legend for, for, for the different classes that we actually present in this selection. We have uh, nice pop-ups uh, that we can configure uh, the way we want them to look and, and which data they can present. We can do selections here. We use a lasso tool, and what's particular here is that we actually present two different dimensions on, on on this. So we have to choose which dimension we need we should select from, and this can be very powerful uh, in some situations when you want to select from a particular uh, dimension that you have presented in the visualization. We choose the countries, and, and here we. I've chosen then only these two countries with this, this view of only Belgium, Luxembourg, and, and Germany. Uh, that was what I intended to present uh, regarding building uh, apps with uh, IW Maps. But let's look at two other examples that uh, what can be done with uh, the various visualizations available. Here we have a line layer uh, represented at this, as this component, uh, and we see here that we use we have configured it to be uh, uh, rounded lines with arrows, uh, with one measure controlling their width and one measure controlling the, the color. So it's uh, easy to add this kind of, of, of line layers if you have uh, clothes or things like that that you want to, to visualize. Another example here uh, is uh, a, actually a drill down group which presents states at this level. But let's drill down to Washington in this case, and it uh, zooms in and presents a heat map at this uh, drill down level. That is, uh, heat maps generated on, on the fly for this kind of data. Uh, so, this was uh, what I plan to present uh, this time. Uh, my name is Johan Persson. Thank you very much. Let's hear from you later.